Hello there, welcome to another Hume DIY. I'm Chris and today we're talking a little bit how I built this pew bench. It was a fun little project for another project that I'm working on for this clothing company actually. And so I just needed it for a photo shoot. If you're looking for a tutorial on how to build a vintage, old school, traditional church pew, this is a great video for you. Now, let's just jump into the build and I'll explain how I built it and what I did. So let's do it. Before jumping in this project, I got a little inspiration from a album that had this foresty feel with a backdrop and I really loved it. So I thought I would use it for my new company. And so I then planned out the drawings. I used SketchUp, but I didn't show that here. Uh, got all the measurements and such like that and just started cutting some scrap plywood that I had made from my fireplace build, which if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. Uh, it's a pretty fun build. As you can see here, I am cutting the legs and I needed to cut two of these because there's one on each side, of course, uh, to do the bench. I wanted to keep this as easy as possible, so I cut the two legs and then mirrored one from the other and then cut them both out. Here I'm using my jigsaw to cut off the top of the side and the armrest. The next up, I wanted to put a brace in between the two legs uh, with a 2x4. So I'm measuring on both sides and then cut out this little piece of plywood that I will fit the 2x4 right in the side and then connect it with screws and so that there's something sturdy underneath it and then I'll put the seat on top. Wow, good dance, Chris. Alrighty, back <laughs> to the build. Nice, that was pretty good too. So I ended up connecting these two, like I said, with screws, which gives it some durability and then putting the seat on top. And then I screwed the seat from the sides, which then I'll fill in with some wood filler uh, to make everything look smooth. And like I've said in this video, I'm not trying to make everything perfect here. If I were to be selling this or something like that, I would have done it a little bit differently to make it a little bit more clean. Um, and even putting these braces on the back, I probably would have made the legs a little bit bigger and then put a bigger brace on the back uh, so that it can hold more weight and uh, heavier people. But this worked pretty good for my intended purposes. Alrighty. Not too bad. An original idea for this was to put more trim on it, but I just wanted to do the armrest because that is kind of what stuck out the most in the photos that I was imagining. So I did that. I ended up taping these down to get them to hold better. Good morning. It is staying in day today. That's exciting because we have, we have our shoot Sunday, so it needs to be done before then. And I'll show y'all a little bit of that footage, show what we're using it for, but let's just jump into the uh, staining. Should be fun. I'm using some walnut gel stain here, and the idea is just to spread it everywhere, wait for a couple minutes, and then wipe off the remains. Now plywood doesn't do the best with stain. Gel stain is supposed to help, and then you can get some other products to even help further. But this honestly turned out pretty dang good, better than some of the other plywood stains that I've used. I did end up staining all of the bench, even the sides, and most of the underneath, so that you couldn't see the bare wood from like any photos or anything. So make sure you do that. And then I sprayed some polyurethane on it, uh, just to give it a little bit of clear coat, make it a little bit smooth. And that pretty much sums up this build. And before we jump into the finished product, keep in mind that this project was supposed to be quick. It wasn't supposed to be super fancy or anything. Something that could be used for a photo shoot and something that just wouldn't fall apart when you sat on it, which clearly I'm sitting on it now. I have multiple people sit on it and it works great. If I were to redo this project to build it to last for uh, heavier people to sit on or or to look better. I would probably do a few different things I would probably have the back lean a little bit further So it's a little more comfortable 
Um, and I probably add some more trim to it, maybe fancy it up a little bit more with trim on the feet, uh, on the sides, um, stuff like that. This project isn't meant to be super nice or super modern or super anything. It's just supposed to be a functional church pew uh, for a photo shoot. And so keep that in mind. And let's jump into that final product shot. All right, that about sums up all this video of this traditional church pew. Thank you all so much for coming out, for watching, for engaging. If you have any questions, any thoughts, uh, if you want to tell me how poorly this is made, uh, I'm just kidding. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. And yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know as well. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you out there. See y'all later.